General Motors plant in Wentzville as a national strike continues for the auto workers. Fox News' Mallory Thomas gives us a look at the picket lines in Wentzville as we head to the fourth day of the strike. Even though it's the weekend, negotiations are still ongoing, and that's something that people out here say they want to see happen. Each gate at the GM plant in Wentzville is full of picketers. We know International is, they're negotiating, they're doing a great job for us, and so we're supporting them down here, holding the line for them, and, uh, and it's not just for us for all of the UAW. Katie Deathridge is the local 2250 president and says this strike feels the same as the one in 2019. That one lasted 40 days. The United Auto Workers list of demands include a 40% raise over the next four years, a four day work week, more paid time off and a cost of living adjustment. It's all about compromise. Um, you know, we, we, we read a lot, you know, like that our demands are too high and well, you got to you start high. It's like selling a used car. <laughs> you know, you start high and you know, you know, negotiate in the middle somewhere and, and, and come to a happy medium for all of us. GM's website shows their offer as of Thursday. It includes a 20% raise, a cost of living protection for maximum wage earners and temporary members wages increased to $20 an hour. Deathridge hopes the union and the big three makers can reach an agreement soon. Our membership is going to feel it, you know, uh, $500 a week is you know, less than some of us. Um, but unfortunately, some of our members, it's they're taking home the same paycheck and that's that's not OK. You know, that's what we're fighting for, to be on that same same pay scale. Deathridge says people from two different Kansas City plants are going to be coming out here, joining the picket lines later this week in Winsville, Mallory Thomas, Fox 2 News.